Hello everybody. Today's card, obviously I'm not doing a voiceover. This is going to be a really quick and simple card. I had the idea for a little while and then I saw the latest paper smooches challenge for, um, and it was a color combo and it was using aqua, kind of a berry color, chocolate and cream. So I've got a cream cardstock base and it's my standard A2 four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then I've got paper smooches flap happy stamp set, with all little butterflies. And then for the colors, I've got memento rich cocoa for the brown, memento rosebud for the berry. And I don't really have hardly any aqua colors for ink pads. Like the closest with the memento was teal zeal and summer sky. And those aren't really what I was going for. I wanted more like a turquoisey color. So I pulled out this Versa Magic turquoise gem little ink pad and surprisingly it still has some ink in it because these dry out quite easily. But yeah, it's still got some ink in it, so why not? So I thought I would do yeah, just a really simple card. This is one of these ones you can just whip up last minute, um, you know, when you need a birthday card or a thank you card or a whatever card because this one you can just like switch out the sentiments really quickly. So I'm just gonna start with the little base butterfly. And yeah, like, I'm just surprised that there's still um, ink left in these, some of these Versa Magic pads, cause I've had them forever and I haven't used them in a really long time. So, anywho, I'm just gonna I like them for clear stamps like this because it gives such a nice coverage. So, and these kind, because they're like a chalk ink pad, they dry really quickly. Cause that's my only peeve with craft inks, like pigment inks, is they take forever to dry. But these ones dry fairly quickly. So, and then the only thing you need to note if you're kind of newer to clear stamps or um, you're really OCD is these kind of inks they'll stain well pretty much every ink is going to stain your clear stamps But these types seem to stain them a lot more like it'll just be kind of tinted aqua you can see but it doesn't hurt the stamp at all it just It'll just have a nice little tinge of color. So anyway, so we'll do those and then let's add a little bit of This one with the berry color Do a couple more with the rich cocoa and the different style of butterfly. And you know what? Just because I want to fill a little bit of the kind of gaps so it's not quite so open, I'm going to take this littlest butterfly and I'll just use this lighter shade. This is Versa Magic Aquatic Splash. So just another little bit lighter shade of um, aqua here. I like that. There we go. Alrighty, and like I said, with a card like this, you can use whatever sentiment you want. So I just chose this Happy Everything stamp from the Simply Said set. But you could make it like a thank you card, a birthday card, like the bonus of doing ones like this is you can make them for any occasion and quickly whip one up. Mm -hmm. And then the sentiment, I'm gonna just use my VersaFine Onyx Black as always because I love this ink. Got that inked up. Perfect. And while I'm at it, let's cut it out so I don't wreck anything. I'm gonna take this one little profile butterfly image, I guess you'd call it, ink it up with the rosebud again, 
and just like so. So that's the front of the card. And then you guys, if you've watched my videos, you know me, I cannot leave the inside blank because you have a nice pretty little card and then you open it up and there's nothing there. So this part I'm just gonna speed up, but I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna stamp a few of the butterflies um, along the bottom of the card just to give it a little something. Okay, so there's the inside, and then if you wanted to, you could even do one little butterfly right on the very back of the card. This is usually where I'll just sign my name real quick, or if you have like a personalized stamp saying, you know, handmade by, etc., etc., or you can just do something like that. So that technically finishes off the card but then I thought if you wanted to dress it up a little bit and you had a few extra minutes or time to let it dry um, I do have a video on um, how to get your stickles to dry really fast but I've just grabbed some fruit punch stickles and I'm going to just very lightly fill in um, all of the berry colored butterflies wings Alrighty, and there we have it. So this card took me about 10 minutes to make start to finish. I could easily do it in five if I wasn't filming and explaining and blah, blah you just sit down and do it. So yeah, and if you omit the stickles, definitely um, an under five minute quick card. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, as always, there'll be a link below to my blog post with links to the supplies. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.